To begin, I'd like to thank the Foundation for a Drug-Free World for this evening's event and for their efforts in for their efforts in educating communities on the dangers of drug abuse. I'm currently an assistant special agent in charge of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration of the New York Division. Prior to working with the DEA, I've been in charge of the NYPD for five years. Combining my career with the DEA and NYPD, I have 27 years in law enforcement. Throughout those 27 years in law enforcement, I've never seen a deadlier drug than fentanyl. Fentanyl is our biggest foe because traffickers are mixing it with other opioids such as heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine, and marijuana. Right now, approximately 200 Americans die every day as a result of drug abuse. Throughout DEA's work, we target the organizations responsible for pushing poison onto the streets. Without enforcement partners, we arrest everyone involved in bringing illicit drugs onto American doorsteps. From the cartels overseas to the local street dealers dealing ten dollar bags of heroin on the corner. As law enforcement, our job is simple. We investigate and arrest drug traffickers at all levels. The hard part of combating drug abuse is what our education and prevention partners do. They change attitudes and behaviors. Many of you here today need to support a drug-free world. By educating the public, the dangers of drug abuse are changing lives and saving lives. I applaud your work, and we applaud we as well as we applaud your work. I'd like to congratulate the Foundation for a Drug Free World on its 12th anniversary Drug Free Hero Awards Gallery. And also thank the award honorees for their time and efforts in reducing drug abuse in New York City and across the globe. Your efforts are particularly important in today's world since the introduction of methanol into mass markets. The DEA has pulled resources with our law enforcement partners on a local, state, and federal and international levels to address production, distribution of synthetic opioids in order to combat the crisis. Thank you again for this award and for the efforts of fighting drug abuse and addiction. Thank you.